We at Site Solutions are really excited to announce some updates to our client equipment module. We've now got full service history based on, uh, if you look at the details of a particular piece of equipment, um, and we've also got now got customised uh, JSA questions rather than the pre-CAM ones we had previously. So if you're new to the client equipment module, um, we'll, we'll just have a quick look at that first before we get into the new features, just so we all know what's, what we're talking about. So here is, um, um, we go into the client equipment and we can see a list of the companies. So this is grouped by company initially. Um, we can take this filter off if we want. We see a list of all of the equipment we, we look after. Um, and, and we can group it by customer again to bring that back. So what this is all about, this is about managing clients' equipment, not our equipment. So it's not assets we look after or, or we own, they're someone else's assets. Um, but we may have a service contract to go and maintain those, that, 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 those, that equipment. And that equipment can be in multiple sites. So the companies tend to have a head office somewhere and then they may have satellite offices and then they may have depots and then they may have other buildings and so forth. So we're looking after, in this case, air conditioners, and air conditioners could be in any any one of those locations. And so it may be in, in um, uh, you may have an evaporator in a certain office, um, and the condenser's outside, and then you may have an evaporator, in, a different evaporator in a different office. Uh, you may have a multi-head uh, air conditioner. You may have all sorts of things. So this allows us to keep track of all those things. So if we, up here we can do a search and I'll post in a serial number um, but if you've been uh, got a call from a customer and you, all you know is the room number but you know the customer and room number then you can search, search by location and you can put in the room number there but in this case I'll just go with the serial number so you can see that serial number is in our Perth office in, in sorry ABC company's Perth office so we can open up that particular piece of equipment and here we go, this is the client, the client's um, names here, the equipment address, not necessarily the company address, the equipment location, what room it's in and so forth. Um, again, if this was a depot, then you'd have a different address there and so forth. All importantly, we've got the site contacts here. So who do you ring when you get out on site? Um, which may not necessarily be the same as you, again, your head offices, addresses, all those sorts of things. You, for this particular piece of equipment, this is the person you ring. Down the bottom here, we've got some notes. So this is for the technicians. They know what strainers and fil filters to put in. They've got some an image pasted in here as well, and you're free to put in whatever details you want in here, um, or, or, or it is useful to your, your technicians. Um, we've got a documents where we've got the full manual uploaded and uh, an image uploaded but again you can upload whatever documents you want and here is our new feature which is our service history where we've got everything all on the one tab and from here you can also print out this service history as well so if you ever been asked for a report from a client to say hey can you tell me you know everything that's gone on with this particular piece of equipment um, you can print this out and now we've got our list of here so at the top here we've got the client I don't have any my company information loaded in this system but here's all the clients address and so forth this is the information about the air conditioner that we're looking after and here's the first service so I can either scroll down here or I can use the, the menu here to just flip between the different services and so forth. So you can see that's that's quite useful um, for both your customer and yourself to go and see the full history of a particular piece of equipment. So that's a new feature. There is also a new feature here for questions, which I'll come back to because I'll show you how that works and then we'll come back to see how, um, how we can configure those. So let's go through a typical scenario. So let's say that we've, we've just got a phone call from a customer, we go into sales, and um, I'm going to bring up one I've pre-configured just because it's quicker. Um, and that customer wants you to go out and service their equipment, or it's 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 let, let's let, let's say it's, it's making noise. So we've added in a field service operation where we're going to spend four hours out on their site um, fixing some some piece of equipment, and that's what that's all we know at this point in time. So. 
they've confirmed that they want us to go ahead with it. So once I press the confirm button, they've got access to the project and to the task, the task itself, which if we open that up, this take us, takes us to the field service app. And here we've got a task and we can fill this in right now. So we're gonna assign this to a person. So I'm gonna assign it to Drew. And I'm also gonna send out Martin. So maybe Martin's, I don't know, maybe, maybe Drew's apprentice and so Martin's there learning the ropes and so forth. Um, so I'm going to send them both out to to go and have a look at this problem. I can schedule a date and maybe we make it for the 27th at 10 o'clock is fine. And I'll click on 27th again, then I'll change this to, let's say, 12 o'clock. So we'll start at 10, we'll finish at 12 and apply that. So now I've got that set. Um, I can, again, see the, the, the site information. So when you're your um, Drew, let's say, goes out on site, he can open this up on his tablet and say, oh, okay, I've got to ring Peter and here's his phone number, great. And, and uh, then uh, he can ring Peter and say, hey, let me in the gate or I'm ready to now do this repair on this particular piece of equipment. Again, these details are probably different to the head office or to the even the, the uh, regional office. I can see this, the, um, the sales order this was attached to uh, and so if I need to go back, I can also go through this smart button up the top here, back to the back to the original sales order, but that's all linked together. So I've got all this information. But remember right now, I'm, I'm still the um, the salesperson or the person managing the, the, this, um, this new uh, request from this customer. So I'm just gonna set things up for, for Drew for next week when he goes out there. So I can then set in the job and I need to go and add a piece of equipment that we've got a service. And so what I can do now is I can also place a serial number in here. And when I tap away, it fills in all the details for me, including the equipment address is all filled in automatically just by pasting in that serial number. I can also use these drop downs to go and select from a range of, of products. Um, I'm gonna assign this to Drew um, and that's now right to go. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put in here, I'll say, um, noisy, it's, it's, it's making a lot of noise, which is not uncommon for your customers to say, hey, it's just noisy and, and, and you don't really have much else to go on. This report is now where Drew would fill in when Drew is filling, um, um, repairing this, this air conditioner, he would fill in this report at the end of it. So what I can do is I can save and close that now. And that's ready for, from a job point of view, uh, Drew will know what equipment to work on. When Drew gets out on site though, some places require a JSA, like a job start assessment done, or a take five if you prefer to call it that. So we'll click on JSA. And we've got some pre-work questions, some post-work questions. Now, I can choose to add questions manually to both these areas, and this is this is the new feature. This was a previously a pre-configured uh, set of questions, but now we can either load the preset pre set of questions or we can just put in our own questions if we prefer. So again, I'll put in Drew as the site supervisor and what I will do is I'll load the questions from the JSA. So these are, uh, are questions that we're pre-configured and they're already in there. And so when Drew comes in and does this, he'll do his pre, we'll go and check the site out, make sure that all these things are correct. And then he'll sign off to say this is true and correct. Um, he'll do this for the, for the whoops, for the pre-work and also for the post-work, the cleanup afterwards, those sorts of things. So that's pretty much right to go now for, for, for Drew. So, um, We'll go up the top here and that's all in the new state. It's it's ready to go. We can even move that to the plan state now because it's ready to go um, and that's all fine. So now this job will be in Drew's queue for him to go and do this work. <coughs> and as, 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 as you can probably appreciate, Drew will now come in and you'll just um, fill in a JSA um, open up the actual equipment. Um, now I do, we, we do have um, the assignees on here. Um, so you may have a group that goes out to site to do a, a number of um, uh, repairs on a number of pieces of equipment. So you can add an assignee to each piece of equipment. And that way, 
your whole team can, can, can then focus on one, on one piece of equipment each. So we'll just save that. I can't remember if I changed that or not. Um, but that's now right to go. So I'll save this all together. Now it's done. So <clears throat> that now that job is now in the field services module ready to go for for Drew, Judy, Drew to go and manage it, do the do the work. Let's go back into the client equipment again. And what I'll do now is I'll go and have a look at these questions. So this is where we can go and manage these questions. And again, we group it by the pre and post works. So I can see that I've got two in the post works and I've got 14 questions in the pre works. So here, if I, let's say, don't like this particular question, I can open it up. And as the administrator, I can go and modify it. Or um, if I really just want to if I don't like it at all, I can delete it, or I can just simply archive it, which means just hide it away. Um, and, and that will now put that in the archive state. So now there's only 13 questions here, which is available to put in, uh, to preload into our JSAs. Um, if I choose, I, I can add a new question here if I choose to, um, but I won't do that. Now, if I do want to go and bring that question back, let's say I've, I've changed my mind here, and now we actually do need that question in, I can go and archive it, and archive it. And now I'll turn that off again, and now it's back there. So this adds a lot of flexibility. Um, whereas previously, you had a pre-canned, a pre-list where you could not change those questions. Now, you can add, remove, you can do whatever you like with these questions, and then um, preload them into your JSA section of your um, field service if, if that's what you choose to do. So these are the new features. I hope you like them. Um, we do have um, you know some, some really good functionality here with the service history and be able to pull up and find out what's going on with any particular piece of equipment, and particularly if a customer rings up and says, hey, I had, a, I had uh, Drew do a, or Martin do a service on my equipment on the 19th of the 4th, um, can you please tell me what he did? Great, yep, no problem. I can tell you exactly what the issue was and what was what was done to fix it. So there you go.